Welcome back to Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Uh, we are gonna be uh, uh, trying to finish Chapter Zero, um, and then I want to get into Endgame stuff like as quick as possible. If there we go, we'll go here. Uh, did I do the hydrate? No, because I don't have my water bottle, and also I was had my hands full fixing OBS. Uh, I left it on my dresser. Dang it! I'll be right back. <laughs> I meant to fill it up and then forgot. Yoink, I'm here. Like I said, small room makes it easy to grab stuff. Okay. All right. One more minute. I gotta organize my desk a little bit. Okay. Now I can hydrate. So I now have a beverage. <sighs> Zaku, hello! Okie dokie. We're gonna do that. We'll do that. Alrighty. Um, I need to... I said I would try and do this off stream. I have not had time, man. I have been up to my ears. Um... I would like to undertake a quest. Wrong button. Sorry. I have to remember a different control scheme. Um, do I have the power level for this? I do. Griffin boss. Okay. Good luck out there. So let me. Uh, rack him. I was itching for some action. He's a little low level, but that's fine. Um. I don't know if my entire party needs to be level 60 for this. We'll just we'll just play it by ear. <laughs> and see how it goes. Ow! <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Scree! Up to your ears and work? Yikes, that's like three feet of work. What? Let me have my full height, please. That's not fair. <laughs> Do your work. Fire in the hole. I need your aid. Come on. Get down here, you coward. Fight me toe to toe. Stay calm, everyone. Come here. Come on. What do you think? There we go. Take my Can't keep up. I'm glad I brought Rackham just because this fight kind of needs a ranged unit. Power level doesn't take into everyone account. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's based purely off of Fairy. Um, the rest of my party's under level for this, but that's fine. Five work. Claret six heart. Claret six heart. <laughs> yeah, good night. Thank what you, you for the gift sub. <laughs> I appreciate that so much. Thank you. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, I'm probably kind of underleveled for this, but I'm going to brute force it anyways, because I think we'll be able to pull it off. He's level 50. I have 30 minutes. I think it'll be okay. We sure taught them a lesson. Right. Let's move on. I mean, like, worst case scenario, I just, you know, grind some characters and redo it, you know what I mean? No B. Man, I'm gonna be honest, sometimes the camera in this game is wonky. I wish that the uh, targeting system was just, like, a little bit more robust. Understood. Please, Gigi. Time and place. Oh, somebody want to play when this is all over? Oh, you're in for it. Prepare yourself. Come on, Mister. I want to get to the end game, and you're in my way. Don't get cute. 
Crack him, you died? Okay, he's probably a little too low level then. Do my party members not save him? Okay, I was gonna say, I can do it, but... I thought I'd bring him because he has the elemental uh, damage, but I think I could have probably just brought Eo instead for Fireball. I think I'll just start using Eo as my all-rounder. I don't want to use my um, big attack yet because no one else has theirs on. There we go. Except for Rosetta, I could probably just do it. Yeah, okay. Rackham made that decision for us. A wonky camera can really kill gameplay, though. I don't know if I would say it kills gameplay, but it definitely makes it harder for a player to succeed, right? Like. I'm here to help. Oh! <laughs> thank you, Napkin. No worries. Wow! Nice. So discretion's the name of the game then. Okay. Ah, oh, beans. Withdraw if you're injured. Thanks, Rosetta. Oh, rack right there. Come on, buddy. I'm getting to you. You're alive? There we go. This is gonna burn. I don't care about uh, doing all the clears in this. I just care about doing it. Come here. All right, this maybe isn't going to work as well as I would have liked. Rack um, What, you made a tissue paper, pal? Don't give in. I feel like a million bucks. Come on. Poor thing. All right, yeah, you know what? Uh, where's my... Game? Game? Controller? What the hell? Take back. Don't let up. Leave it to the captain. <laughs> we got rare spirits, and not the kind that want to haunt you. Hello there. All right, see you. No. Yes. Right. Would you take this one? Please be careful. Yes. Microphone. Bruh. Uh, thank you for letting me know. I don't know why everything's getting all screwy like that. Is something... Is DS4 Windows superseding my mouse? Man, I'm gonna have to do a lot of troubleshooting after stream today, because I don't know why... <laughs> I don't know why everything's getting weird. Steez, hello! How you doing? 
Yeah, thank you for letting me know. I don't know why, but for some reason OBS had my mic muted when I didn't touch any mic mute buttons. Get down here! Yuri, hello! I need your mic! Come on, you. I'm gonna need you to carry this home girl. I don't know how much Catalina and Gita can actually hit this thing. I owe you much. You wonderful. Oh, I wanted to tell you all. Okay. I had what I... I say this very jokingly. What I think was a certified autism moment. Um, so, quick backstory. I've been trying to get healthcare for uh, a while. Uh, I finally got insurance, right? But it turns out, um, my insurance... Um, the specialists it lists as being in network. When I kept calling them to make an appointment, they'd be like, Oh, we don't accept that insurance anymore, right? And it kept happening. So I said, you know what? It will be faster for me to call every specialist in the region than try and rely on this website that is seemingly broken, right? So I'm calling people, I'm calling people. I called over 15 different clinics, maybe closer to 20, right? I was calling a lot of places. And literally I was just like, hi, I just need to know, do you accept X insurance, right? And they kept saying, no, unfortunately we don't, I'm sorry. Okay, fine, I'm not gonna hold anyone against that. That's not an individual's fault. Um, what was weird was that a few places were like, hello, if you are calling between the hours of 3 p.m. and 5 p.m., we will not answer your call. If you are calling between the hours of 9 a.m. and 11 a.m., we will not be available to answer your call. Please leave a name and callback number. Which, listen, I get it. You can't always have staff at your desk. Right? But, like, the hours were so desk. limiting. It was really weird. So I basically was like, hi, my name's Clara. I just need to know um, if you accept X insurance. Please call me back at this number and have a great day. Right? Um, I called a few places where I had to leave a number, and so I just didn't think anything of it. And then yesterday morning, I get a phone call, and someone says, Hi, I'm calling Claire. And I said, Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, this isn't Claire. This is Clara, right? And they're like, Oh, are you sure? Because somebody called asking this. And I was like, No, my name's not Claire. It's not me. And then, of course, after they hang up, I'm like, Oh, they must have misheard my name. <laughs> But in my brain, I was like, that's not my name, so surely it's not me that you're trying to reach. I don't know, I felt really stupid after that, and I probably should have called back, but I was too embarrassed. <laughs> I didn't even, I didn't want to have to do that. Although, I will say, I'm very certain it was going to be a no, because I realized that uh, certain, certain places didn't accept this, uh, uh, insurance and I'm like 99% sure they're one of them. Oh, Julie, hello! Please get sleep. That's way more important. Uh, good news, I did finally find a place that accepts my insurance. It was, I think, my... I can check the call logs. I think it was like my 22nd call. Um, and so I did the whole song and dance of like, hi, I just need to know if you accept X insurance. And the receptionist on the other end was like, oh yeah, we, we of course we do. And I just... <laughs> I really should have tempered myself, but I couldn't help it. I was so tired. I had spent hours, right? And I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> and uh, that got a laugh out of the receptionist, who was like, yeah, we get that a lot. And I was like, all right, cool. Thanks. Thanks for the help. Appreciate it. Um, it was, man, adventures in healthcare in the United States are something else. I called one place. Uh, and they were like, oh, um, we only accept your insurance in very specific cases if you're trying to get, like, basically, long story short, I need to see someone about some reproductive health care stuff because I think there's something wrong. Um, and so she was like, oh, we don't take insurance if you have fertility concerns. I was like, oh, no, I don't want to be pregnant. I just, I want to function, right? Like, totally different, right? Uh, and she was like, oh, well, like, have you seen a gynecologist? And I said, yeah, and she just told me to take extra strength Midol for the rest of my life. And the receptionist was like, uh, absolutely. She was like flabbergasted. She was like, I, really? And I said, yeah, yeah, that was, that was the professional advice that I paid for. And she was like, all right, well, I, I can't really give you advice over the phone, except that that's really not acceptable. And I said, yeah, that's why I'm looking elsewhere, man. Like, 
it was it was somewhat comforting to know that at least another medical professional was like, that's some bullshit. <laughs> yeah, like, it was the most polite, like, what the fuck <laughs> that I've ever heard. Uh, she was really nice, actually, and was like, I don't unfortunately know if this is going to be the right fit for you, but, like, I really do wish you luck. And I was like, no worries. Like, thanks for saving me the hassle, you know? But yeah, now I have an appointment, so that's good. Um, I just have to pray that they don't, I don't know, cancel it or something. That's happened to me a few times. One time, I had an appointment canceled and then rescheduled, and then I waited an hour and a half, and when I finally got to the appointment, the doctor was like, oh, well, we can't do anything today because we're actually closing due to inclement weather. And I was like, girly pop, if you knew you were closing, why did I sit here for an hour and a half? Like, I paid money to come here. And I had to take time out of my day to be here. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's been bad weather all day. Why now are you closing early? The worst. I hate it. No, all right. I'm going to just wait for overdrive to finish then. Leave it to me. Come on. Oh, I wanted to tell you all. Okay, so I discovered a musical that is new to me. I want to be clear, it's not a new musical. It's existed for like a decade. Um, Bring It On the movie has a musical. I've never seen Bring It On the movie until this week. Um, but when I found out there was a musical, I was like, well, now I have to watch the movie and then I have to listen to the musical and see if there's like, you know, how did that adaptation work, right? If you don't know, Bring It On the movie is from like the early 2000s, I think. Um, and basically it is about um, uh, uh, cheerleaders. It's about a cheer team in LA and their rival cheer team. And that's really the long and short of it. It's a cheerleading movie. Um, Bring It On kicks ass. It's such a 2000s movie. I will say this right now. So I had never seen it, right? It was a movie I had never before seen. Um, I ended up making a yikes tally of just yikes dialogue. Because it's the 2000s, right? I get it. The 2000s was of its time. But at the same time, I just, I kept having moments where I was like, yikes! This was in a script and no one, no one was like, hey, maybe we shouldn't say this. Like, it was... I lost track at the 15th yikes. Um, so, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't know if I could personally recommend modern viewers to watch Bring It On the movie. If you have nostalgia for it, that's fine. But uh, it's it's like uncomfortable uh, how much how many yikes moments there are. They drop like the R word. Um, they're really dismissive of women. It doesn't really feel like a girl power movie. Uh, yeah, it has not aged well. And I again like my understanding is that some people really do have a lot of nostalgia for it. It was a really big meme at the time. But uh. uh yeah. Eh. Really not great. I'm gonna be real. Uh, I will say, like, the acting was actually really impressive, especially since so much of the cast was, like, high schoolers. But, um, just maybe not the best. Uh, but I was interested because there's a musical adaptation that was... had the lyrics co-written by Lin-Manuel Miranda and Tom Kitt, the guy who did Next to Normal and, um, the Freaky Friday remake. He's done a lot of other stuff. Those are the two off the top of my head. I'm gonna be honest, the musical is actually kind of impressive. It's a very different plot, thank God. A history is just an ever-expanding list of yike moments. I don't know, part of me is like, this wasn't ever okay, so why did people just kind of let this happen, you know? Um, there we go. Uh... But I think the musical is actually really interesting because they basically, <laughs> it's not the movie, which I think was a good choice because the movie is about a bunch of wealthy white girls at like this like upper class high school who have a cheer team 
And then they come to find out that all of their cheers that have won them competitions for five years, every single one of them was stolen by black students from Compton. The, the other members didn't know this, like it was basically done by like only one or two people. Um, but what was extra cringe to me was when the main character finds out that their cheers are stolen, her immediate reaction isn't, oh, that's deeply fucked up. Her immediate reaction is, like, she's like, oh, I don't know if we should do these. And the rest of her team's like, well, we want to win and we want to be winners. And she's like, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll use these stolen cheers. Like, it felt bad that these girls never were really held accountable for their theft. And I thought it was a really interesting commentary because, you know, it's not the first time that some rich white girls stole something from black women, right? Like, look at jazz, look at tap, look at R&B. It's happened for hundreds of years. Um, but I was really waiting for, like, a moment where they kind of had some kind of retribution and it, like, never really happened. Like, they're, like, kind of publicly embarrassed, but that's not the same as, like, returning the trophies that were ostensibly stolen from another team, right? Um, and so the musical, I think, was very smart and kind of scrapped that. Basically, the musical has it so that the main character, um, gets redistricted. And so, like, her junior year of high school, she's at this, like, really wealthy school. She's going to become captain of the cheer team. Everything's going well for her. She has, like, the jock boyfriend and stuff. Um, and then she gets transferred her senior year and has to go to um, a different school and, like, struggles to fit in and all that jazz. Um, I think what was really interesting about the production is that they actually had cheerleaders in the cast. Because think about it. Broadway actors are capable of a lot of things. But cheerleading is not necessarily one of them. Like, I think an interesting challenge for the show is Broadway musicals run eight times a week, right? There's eight performances every week. So when you're choreographing a musical, you need to design it so that your cast can safely do every stunt, every fight, every dance move safely the same way every time. And so how do you have cheerleading eight shows a week? with dancers, right? So I think it was kind of interesting because like half of the cast are cheerleaders and then half of the cast are Broadway dancers. Um, and so like they have full cheer choreography intermixed with like dance choreography. Um, but what's kind of cool is they had to make choreography. Like, so the choreographers had this really interesting challenge of having to balance dance choreography that cheerleaders can perform with um, What's it called? They had to combine that with cheer choreography that dancers could perform, right? Um, another challenge that I think they probably had production-wise is in cheerleading, they have those like bouncy mats. I don't know what they're called. I'm sorry, I'm not a big athlete. Um, but they have those like fancy mat things, right? And so I think the original Broadway run like installed that on the stage, which meant they couldn't do a lot in the way of physical props because they couldn't damage the mats. This is my thesis. I don't actually know if this is true. This is my guess. But like, if you look at production photos, it's very minimal set pieces. Like they have some lockers, they have like a bed for a bedroom scene, and they have some benches and that's like it. Um, I don't personally love super minimal set dressing because sometimes it can be hard to understand when you're in a new scene. Um, but from a production side, I feel like this is a really difficult show. It didn't run on Broadway very long. I think it had a longer tour. Um, but apparently it's a pretty popular show amongst schools. Because, you know, high school setting, there's a lot of characters, which is personally a criticism of mine in the show. There's too many characters. There's, at the first high school that the main character attends, the main character is named Campbell, like the soup. Um, and the first school she attends is called Truman High School where she has two cheerleader friends and a boyfriend, and then there's a new girl on the cheerleading squad who's a villain. So there's, that's already four characters. And then there's a character oh, named pain. Bridget, who is a autism coded character, um, which was fun. Um, although apparently, quick sidebar, allegedly they once had a line of dialogue in the musical that said, Bridget puts the special in special ed, which that's not funny, that's, <laughs> <laughs> deeply messed up. And the only reason I know about this is because there's tweets talking about it, but it has since been removed from the script. Um, but so already there's five characters 
right? In one school with names. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, yeah. Again, this is alleged. This is what tweets have claimed online back when the show was first in its infancy. Apparently there was also a Helen Keller joke that was removed. Uh, so I'm glad those were removed from the script at least because this character Bridget was is like very, very hard coded autistic in the way she speaks in the way she dresses. She has a line of dialogue about like not wearing certain fabric because it's irritating, right? Like, so yeah, assuming that is true, I'm very glad they had the good sense to remove it because that's icky and uncomfortable. Um, and I, I don't know who thought that would be a good joke for a script. <laughs> Maybe if an antagonist said it, at least it'd be like, oh yeah, that person sucks, but like, eh. This journal seems more recent. I still don't love it, you know? Um. So, but like, so my thing is, so there's already five, six named characters in that school. Then Campbell and Bridget get redistricted to this other school, Jackson High School. And there's two guy friends uh, and then three additional friend characters. Although, fun fact, one of the friend characters was the first trans character to be put on a Broadway stage. So actually really cool that they did that. And the character, at least from my understanding, never had any jokes made about them. Uh, they even get a kiss at the very end, which I thought was, you know, for like 2011. That's a big deal, right? So I thought that was actually kind of wild. Bring it on the musical was the first staged Broadway show to have a trans character. <laughs> they, I, they also got nominated for best Broadway show, which I don't, I guess I wasn't really watching the Tonys at the time, but like, Good for them, I guess. Uh, but like the thing that was like making the show confusing to me, I was like, who is this? Like, there's so many characters. Frankly, in my opinion, too many. All right. This one. I'm gonna just suffer through this because I don't feel it. I don't. I don't want to have to grind. We're just gonna give it a try and see how it goes. <laughs> um. But I think that's also why the show is really popular for schools, is because you have so many characters. Everyone has a chance to get dialogue and stuff. Um, and some of the music is actually really fun, I will say. Um, some of it's kind of forgettable, but in my personal opinion, I don't love all of Tom Kitt's music. Um, but yeah, I, I went down a rabbit hole of just this this musical adaptation that I had no idea existed. <laughs> oh, Catalina, you're already dead, bestie. Oh, I think she might be weak to this type. I forget. Jump, hello! I was just talking about a musical theater uh, rabbit hole I fell down. While I was in that rabbit hole, because uh, I had found a thread that was talking about like, what's an underrated or underappreciated musical? And someone said, bring it on, the musical is actually really good. And I was like, I don't know anything about this. Hello, I'm here for Clara info dumping. I have another info dump for you. In this thread that I was reading, um, uh, someone had recommended a musical that I, I'm gonna be honest. I love obscure musicals because um, I just think it's interesting. So in the 1990s, there was this really big musical called The Print. Um, it's one of those shows that like kind of changed the fabric of Broadway forever. Um, it was just a really different show. It was talking about a lot of contemporary concerns. It was really big, blah, blah, blah. In like, my understanding is roughly around the same time that Rent came out, another musical came out called Floyd Collins, a musical that tells a true story about a man in the 1920s who got stuck in a cave. Um, and there was like a whole media circus about it. And that musical had exactly 25 performances before it closed. Um, and I always think it's really interesting to learn about musicals that close early because sometimes they're not bad, right? Like sometimes they don't close because they're quote unquote bad musicals. They'll close because they just don't have the money. They didn't have the marketing. It's just too dang expensive to operate. The producers don't want to have to pay for it anymore. Leave it to me. The premise sounds like a horror copy pasta. I actually really want to try and find the copy of the cast album to listen to it, which, sidebar, I'm surprised they have a cast album, right? For a show that ran for 25 performances, it's not common that they can get albums recorded. Um, 
But apparently it's like bluegrass and Americana, and it's like sort of very much designed with an early 1900s musical style, which I think is kind of interesting. Um, one of the actors was nominated for Best Performance at the Tony Awards too, I think. I'd have to double check that one, but I think so. I could be confusing that with a different Tony Awards season. No, I think I'm confusing it with Andrew Reynolds. But yeah, the premise is horrifying. You can read about it on um, Wikipedia. It's tragic, really. And the show only had 25 performances. Why boom camera zoom in? It's really unfortunately common for shows to close early. K-pop the musical, I think, is a famous example. I think it ran for like a week, maybe like three days. I really felt bad for that cast. I really wanted that show to do well. Um, I think that was a victim of marketing. Um, I think it was also an expensive show to produce because they had so many big lighting pieces. Um, and they had a pretty big cast. But uh, that was that was a disappointing one for me. I really wanted them to succeed. Come on. Okay, now he's in overdrive. Alright, buddy. I didn't know that still dealt damage. My bad. My bad! Come on. There we go. Now, how's this? Not over yet. Great work. Right? Um, we did well. Did you like that? Oh, also, let me know if my mic has that peak issue again, because I, I heard it a little bit when I was re-listening to the VOD. I changed some settings around. Are you curious about the live-action Avatar series? I'm gonna be honest, I I really don't have any interest in it, and I'm not saying this is a dig to the creative team or the actors, especially, please, so many of the actors are minors, like, don't harass them, right? Um, for me, I don't know, I guess, like, there's a lot of reasons I'm not interested in it. I don't know even know where to begin, really. Um, Reportedly, one of the creators said they wanted to make Game of Thrones. And I think the thing is... Game of Thrones, my opinion, is one of the reasons Game of Thrones works. There's a lot of reasons it worked for a long time. One of the reasons I think it worked was a hallmark of the 2010s was gritty realism, right? Everyone wanted dark fantasy, dark gritty. They wanted their, uh, you know... Uh, 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 what's the Batman movies? The the trilogy with, um, Christian Bale, right? Like, that kind of vibe. Um, and I don't think viewers in this decade... Dark Knight, thank you. I don't think viewers in this decade want that anymore. I think people are kind of tired of gritty realism. Um, I think a good criticism of Game of Thrones is that gritty realism often telegraphs into how can we just keep abusing women and that's kind of not fun to watch on screen ad nauseum right but i think another challenge of that is that like avatar is a series about 12 to 16 year olds having to fight a war they did not start right and i think the animated series had to balance a very dark premise with some really light-hearted um, comedy and stuff. Um, and I just, I don't know. I guess part of my thing is, like, was a live action necessary? Because the animated series was really quite good. And I don't understand what the live action could do differently. And here's the thing. Changes in adaptation are normal and fine and often good, right? 
I have no problems with the changes being made during the adaptation process. However, I do think from what I was reading, like, they were kind of misunderstanding a lot of the character arcs. You know? Um, like, someone was talking about how they were saying, like, oh, you know, Sokka's not gonna have his, like, misogyny era because viewers don't want to see that anymore. And here's the thing. Do I want to see misogyny in media? Frankly, not really all the time, because I don't want to have to be faced with my daily life in my media. But on the other hand, misogyny didn't, didn't just disappear in the 2020s, right? Um, and I think it is something that still needs to be addressed. And, like, I don't know, I think Sokka's character arc was actually quite compelling, and I would have loved to see that put on screen. Not if the writing is jank. I... Yeah, I think a challenge of adaptation is also, like... I don't know. I think one of the challenges of adaptation is, like, having to contend with fans, and sometimes fans want a one-to-one -one recreation. And that's not necessarily bad, but, like... For a number of reasons, sometimes things have to change, you know? Yeah, that's the part of his arc where he learns that when there are strong, capable warriors. I will say... A criticism I do have of, like, 20, 2000s and 2010s media around quote-unquote strong women is that a strong female character has to be a warrior, right? He only respected women when they could compete at a level of martial prowess that he respected, right? Um, and it's, and it's kind of like, I shouldn't have to earn your respect. That does feel a little bad, maybe? Like, why, why can't you just respect me because that's the kind and right thing to do? You know what I mean? Um, I shouldn't have to be the best to be respected. Um, that is a... So, like, I could understand if that was the reason that they were, like, maybe reticent to do that storyline again. But then, I don't know, have, um, have Suki... I mean, Suki was a smart character, like, have a scene where Suki is, like outmaneuvering Sokka like a, a sort of like a battle of wits you know um I think that could have been really cool sorry my uh, auto assist was going against my desires and ran face first into the enemy when I did not want that come on there we go but I I just don't really want to support the series there were some questions around casting too that don't really feel great. But again, this is not an excuse to harass children. I saw people who were like hating on the actors. It's like, leave them alone. That's not right. I mean, really, don't harass actors in general. Like, that's kind of messed up. But like, especially child actors, leave them alone. They changed the Southern Water Tribe into Wolf Ho. Wait, so is the Southern Water Tribe indigenous coded anymore? Did they remove that? Because that feels really bad. Because my understanding is people loved that they got some indigenous breath from the series. So that would be pretty heartbreaking. Thank you. The Star Wars movies were how long ago and we still haven't learned our lesson? Oh, let's break the bad actor ended up leaving acting, right? That poor kid, he was like 12 or something, right? He was, I've read about that. It's really freaking awful. Nice, Eo. There we go. When a plan comes together. Let's keep it up. The next will be even better. Animation versus live action is an old and tired debate. My beef is when people treat animation as like not media, not film, right? Like, when film critics were like, oh, animated movies are for children. Like, 
This is an art form and you need to get your head out of your ass. I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry if that's mean, but like, I'm really sick of people demeaning animation as an art form. Art is art, bestie. Get off your high horse. Like, I... I really hate that sentiment. I hate the sentiment of like animated media only being for children and therefore not being worthy of our praise. As if children's media isn't in and of itself inherently worthy of praise, right? Like Sesame Street was an extremely invaluable invention, you know? I'm gonna be honest, I haven't watched Star Wars since The Mandalorian, probably the only good thing they've managed to get out. So, I've never been like the world's biggest Star Wars fan. Um, I'm not saying I don't like it, I just like, I, I haven't read the whole canon, I haven't watched every film. I did watch the first season of Mandalorian and I thought it was fun, but I'm gonna be honest, I think I feel similarly about Star Wars the way I feel about um, Marvel movies. I, I have a, uh, a, a franchise fatigue, right? Disney got their rights to Star Wars and just have been churning out Star Wars content. And that's fine and good, but like, make me care about it, you know? Like, I don't know. I ended up watching the Han Solo movie because people were saying it's really bad and I was curious to check it out for myself. I'm gonna be honest, it wasn't a bad film. like. It wasn't, like, the room so bad it's good. It wasn't even, like, mediocre. It actually had a lot of really good creative decisions. I think truly its script was the weakest part. There were some lines of dialogue that I was cringing at, and I just thought, man, these actors are... <laughs> there were a few lines where I was like, these actors are really having to work, you know? But I think it was a... It was a... a, a what's the word? It was a... Um... Competent production. I think especially uh, the practical effects were great, the costuming, the makeup, set design. Like, it had a lot of vision. Um, it had some cool heist sequences. It was like a solid 6 out of 10, you know? 7 out of 10. I, I do agree, Spang. I think the thing I liked the least about it was how referential it was. Like, there's a moment where Han is talking to an Imperial officer and the officer's like, what's, what's your name, kid? And he said, oh, my name's Han. And he said, okay, what's your last name? And Han's like, oh, I don't have those. Where I'm from, we don't have those. I've always been a by myself kind of guy. And so then the Imperial officer's like, okay, Solo it is. So I'm going to be honest. I think it kind of sucks that this character's name came from an Imperial officer. Can his name not just be Solo, right? Like... Why did it have to have meaning? You know what I mean? And then, I don't even remember these. Apparently there's like a pair of dice in the Millennium Falcon that are supposed to imitate like those fuzzy dice. And that becomes like a whole part of his character. And I just thought that was completely unearned and unnecessary. Like, I think the reason a lot of people like Han Solo is because he's this kind of mysterious guy. He's this charming scoundrel, right? Um who only really speaks when necessary and whatever. If you want to do an origin movie, that's fine, but like you don't need to explain everything. <laughs> I do think that was the part that I liked the least. Rank up quest. What is a rank up quest? All right, well, I'm not strong enough for this and yet, so that's not necessary. I have four of eight journals. A special request. What do you think? Oh, do I have to do that? Have a nice day. Shoot, I'm not strong enough for that. I thought that was hilarious. They gave him the name and it became famous for kicking the Empire's ass. I guess that argument makes sense. That's a good point. A rank up quest is a quest to rank up your rank. Okay, but like, what is my rank though? <laughs> You understand my question? Like, what does that mean? When do you want all the people in? That's totally fine. I wanted to um do a little bit, bit of grinding myself just to get back into it, but I would love to let other people in. What I want to do is not skills, masteries. How many mastery points do I have? Great. This pack gets 
stronger together. The pack that trains together reigns together. All right, cool. Is it like an HR and MR thing? Oh, I think that makes sense. Your rank is so oh, shit. <laughs> You're sweet. All right, let's do some fighting together, and then it'll probably be faster for me to grind through this. Um, gold ticket can be claimed. I don't want to do that right now. I'm sorry, I keep clicking the wrong buttons because the control scheme's different. Forgive me. Um, I think I have to do this if I want to move forward in the quest, right? Um... Okay, this is what's opening me to the hard and very hard stuff, I guess. All right, we'll do this. All right, so I need to get us an online first. We're gonna create an online session. Yeah, so, okay, so this is kind of Monhun style then. I was getting a little confused. Um, I'm gonna turn spoiler prevention off. I think I can turn the private session off as well. And we'll have the password Howligan. Singular. Singular Howligan, no caps. So I will create an online room. Anyone who, I'm not gonna open a queue unless there's like a lot of people who wanna play. Um, Y'all are good about self-moderating that. Um, We've received a special request. This one, invite yeah. to session no uh session settings session id let me grab that for y'all there we go that's the session id whoop de doo found you yay all right, before I do the rank up quest, I would like to get some mastery points under my belt. I can make the arrangements at once. Um, and this will give me some, well, not that many. It only gives me 20. What gives me the most? This one, yes. They all only give 20? Uh-huh. Hmm. Yeah, Spring, I'm with you. I wish that they just kind of slowed their roll a little bit. I think the point I stopped watching was the Book of Boba Fett, which tied into The Mandalorian. The first few episodes were good, and then it was just kind of... I was like, what am I watching? Yeah, I don't know. I like, I just kind of have a fatigue about it all. Um, Made a request. Ah, oh, Beans, what's the request? I'll lend my aid. Our best wants to play. Gamer time! Hello! What was the request? I don't understand. Is it gonna tell me? We've received a special request. Cause I don't know if I can do the rank up quest yet. I hear for survival missions are better. All right, see you. No, I'm so sorry. Oh, this sucks. I was playing on the Nintendo Switch yesterday, which alter, which which changes the the A and B buttons, and it friggin' oh, and the counter at the bottom. What's details? Here it is. Oh, that's so cool! Thanks. Please be careful. That's so cool. I love that you can requ recommend quests. That's friggin' rad. I'm ready. Oh, <gasps> wait. Who is that? She's so cute. Shut up. Who is that? Look at her. She's adorable. I like that weapon. What is that? This is on the Switch? No, this is not on the Switch, unfortunately. This is only Steam or PS4, PS5. Yesterday I was playing um, Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past on an emulator on the Switch, and so I have to keep remembering that my buttons are uh, reversed. This is Zeta? I have, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't looked at the crewmate cards in too much detail yet. Uh, I swear I'm calm. No, she's so cute. I really like her design. Man, there's so much... Like, I really wish I could cosplay Fairy in this game. Her design is so cute. I really do like her outfit a lot, but I think the hardest part would be that wig. Look at all that hair. Oh, I'm sorry, I can skip this. 
I'm not calm. Hand over, wife. Clam. <laughs> what we have to do? Don't get inflicted with burn. Defeat some goblin soldiers. Okie doke. It go, it go! I gotta build up my it at some point, because I, I kind of like him. Come here, little slime! Nice. Don't get cute. Looks like they're coming for us. You ready? No. No, I'm not ready, baby. Just throw tomatoes in my face, why don't you? I'm sorry. What did I say? Hey, Nate. Hello, limes. Welcome in. How's it going? I'm really proud of them. You better watch out. You better watch out. Uh. Let's go, Dragonid. Oh, this game isn't on the Switch. No, I'm so sorry. I wasn't playing this game. That's not what I meant to say. What I meant to say was I was I was playing on my Switch yesterday, but I wasn't playing this game on my Switch. Unfortunately, it is not on the Switch as of right now. It's only PS4, PS5, and PC. Which is, I don't know, I don't know how well this game would run on the Switch, unfortunately. The most crew in the skies. Maybe if that Switch Pro comes out, they could port it. But I don't think it would have crossplay. Maybe it would. Some Switch games have crossplay on other consoles. This game doesn't, though, which kind of sucks. If you have it on uh, PS4, PS5, I can't play with you. AKA the Switch successor. Yeah, allegedly there's been reports that they're gonna be working on a PS6. And part of me was like, the PS5 just came out, but it didn't. That's what's wild. The PS5 is like six or seven years old now. I just, it's funny because in my mind, the PS5 is like this new shiny thing, you know? Um, and that's not really the case. I don't know. I like, every time I think about getting a PS5, I think it would be cool to have one. I I think it from what I've heard it's like a great console, but like pretty much most PS5 games eventually come to Steam, right? And I don't really want to have to pay for PS Plus, you know? Uh oh. This guy looks strong. You better watch out. Wait, what? Am I that old now? Yeah, right. PS5 is four years old? Okay, it's not as old as I thought, right? Because I remember thinking, like, it's kind of wild that they're already looking to replace it, because it doesn't feel like it's had a long life cycle. Um... Again, this is a legend. This is rumored. I don't know if this is true, but, um, in my mind, like... Oh, that's right, you can get mastery points from fighting those guys, too. Uh, in my mind... Aw, oh, Beans, I'm sorry for the ad break. It's the downside of playing online games. Six years down the line, PlayStation games come to PC. Yeah, like, eventually most of them do. I don't know, every time I think about getting a PS5, I just think, like, that's a lot of money, you know? I should be spending that elsewhere. Because also, the games are all, like, 60, 70 USD, right? I don't know how often Sony games go on sale, because like, at least with Steam, you can get sales. Honestly, console lifespans are getting ridiculous. I I think maybe one of the reasons the Switch is my current favored console is because it's been around for a minute, and it's got a huge library, you know? Nintendo's been pretty consistent on having crossplay if devs want to do it. Microsoft have been spotty, but they are moving to more multi-platform. PlayStation has been rarely quote unquote allowed. Yeah. Hardware lifespan is getting ridiculous. I mean, I will say Joy-Cons breaking within only a couple years of use kind of sucks. I'm very lucky that I haven't had Joy-Con drift, but I also very rarely use them because I don't want to deal with it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm so scared. 
about uh, my my because I have a <gasps> friend. Hello. Listen, friend, this game is full of cute characters like, oh, my God, talk about by panic. Um, <laughs> this game is full of husbandos and waifu. Uh, this is fairy. She is technically dead. Um, she's a spirit who doesn't remember who she was, so she named herself Fairy. And she's a summoner, like Necromancer, who has adopted a bunch of, um, undead spirits and given them all names and taken care of them. So she's like an undead beast master, and she's very cute, and I like her kid a lot. She's sort of like a off-DPS buff character, though, if you build her right. Alright, um, hold on real quick, actually, let me do some mastery leveling and then let's try to do this, uh, hard quest. I like her already, no bias. <laughs> I actually really like the characters in this. They have some really cool, um, designs and, like, backgrounds and stuff. Um, there's also some delectable mommies, though, which is my weakness. Alright, what's fairies? Want to see some cooler, cute characters? Yeah, here, hold on. So this is, um... Oh, freak, I forget. Oh, fuck, I forget her name. <laughs> but isn't her design cute, too? I personally like... Like, listen, I'm a fan of when armored female characters are fully armored, but I also do like fantasy JRPG armors. Um, I love to everyone. <gasps> oh, show off Namaya. Namaya is one of my favorite, but she's apparently really hard to use. Regarding Joy-Con Drift, if you're an EU citizen looking to getting it repaired by Nintendo itself, if I remember correctly, the EU and Nintendo came to an agreement over that. Oh. What color is her hair? Fairy's hair is blue? <gasps> this is Namaya. Look at her. She's like, um, uh, there's, there's different races of people, and she's like uh, one of the cow people. Look at how cute she is! <laughs> I love her so much. The horns, the like shy mommy, the hair, yes. uh, and then this is um uh zub 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 frig I forget his name, Versaga. He's voiced by Sun Wen Cho, and he's got this ginormous death sight. Um, I don't want to keep y'all waiting too long, so I will get um. I'm gonna try the rank up quest, y'all. Let's let's give it a try. I might not be super duper helpful, but I want to at least see if we can do it. Maybe you can carry me to victory. <laughs> um, excuse me. So waifu show off is an essential part of stream. I can quickly show the party members that I have unlocked. Um, there's Catalina. There's Eo, a mage. The main character, Jita. Um, Rosetta is another favorite of mine. She is canonically bisexual. And boy, howdy, do I love a win. Uh, <laughs> I'll bring Eo to this fight. She's, I think, my strongest. Okay, sorry. Let me let you ready up. <laughs> Thank you all for your patience. Yeah, Mr. Big Death Scythe is voiced by Sungwon Cho or Prozy D. Um, I'm so glad. I, it's been really cool to watch his career. I'm so happy for him. Uh, he's a really good actor. There's also a lesbian coming next month, I think, or in April. Uh, there's an archer unit coming, uh, and I'm very excited for her, but I also like playing archery characters. <gasps> Whoa! Do I gotta fight this guy? Wait, have I fought you before? Who are you? Ancient dragon? I don't know if I've- I don't- Yeah, I don't think I've fought this guy before. But yeah, so Fairy fights with a whip, and then she summons her little friends to help on the field. So I like her because she's like a little bit of a summoning character. She's like a mid-range DPS slash support unit. It's not quite support. She does have, I mean, most characters have some kind of healing ability, but. Oh, here, let me take care of these little guys. I've got you. Are there any punchy characters? Um, off the top of my head, yes. There's one guy named Oigen who has an interesting kit. Um, he's a sniper where you can basically park him and just, like, fight, you know? Uh, like, like, snipe. And then when he's not sniping, he does punchy, punchy melee combat. So Oigen's kit's actually really fun in that regard. Momo, sniff out any trouble, would you? I know it hurts. I like her for the open back outfit and the whip. I'm serious. I actually also like her outfit for the the the, the open back and the. 
I don't know. It's a really cute outfit. There's a big ox mar martial arts dude who punches. Oh, hell yeah. I think this game is fun because it has like a kit for everyone. Like if you want to be a ranged unit, if you want to be a mage, um, if you want to be a uh, uh, like a katana wielder, like you'll find the kit for you. Hooray! Thank you for carrying me. Because <laughs> I'm like a little bit below power level right now. Rainbow chest. Ally. Oh wait, and then here's all my little pets. I can work with this. They're so cute. I love them. Here, you can see them in the cutscene. And I like that her pets are like kind of spooky looking too. They're not like cute, cute. They're like you know, little yokai. X here is. Please tell me how to pronounce your name. Is it Ares or Eris? Ooh, I got a crewmate card. Not that I'm using them right now. <laughs> Zeres. Zeres. Zeres? I'm so sorry. It's not you. I promise. <laughs> it's not you. It's me. <laughs> Zeres. Got it. Thank you. Id. Hey, Mr. Id. Are you done with work? Yep. More or less. Woohoo! I'm ready for my next sword lesson. Meet me at the church, okay? Guess a few swings couldn't hurt. Yes! <laughs> Oh my god, this kid with a stick is so cute. Oh, well, well, well. Look at Mr. Popular over here. Playing with the children was apparently part of rolling. Resident Grand Blue Lurker? No worries. Fortunately, all I can do is teach them how to swing swords. Yeah, it is spoiler alert, edgy boy that we adopted. So. <laughs> Meanwhile, we've been finding more of Roland's journals. Let's keep our eyes peeled. Of course. I love Id. He's very autism coded. But it seemed. All right, real quick. Oh wait. Here's Mr. Punch Man, right? Look at this friggin' design. I really like the character silhouettes. Look at this dude. This is one of the daddiest. It's maybe granddaddy vibes. <laughs> Oh, and then this is Eugen with the gun and the eye patch. He's cool. I think he's like. He's also canonically a dad. Very well done. Everyone has their own animations and stuff. Is that Kaido from One Piece? <laughs> yeah, Cagliosto is trans. This game is great. Oh, look how precious. I've heard Cagliostro is a kid that I might like, so I kind of want to check her out at some point. Oh, she's so precious. Look at her. Oh, and then this is, um, is that Lancelot? Or is that Siegfried? They kind of look the same to me. I forget. Is that just Clara? Oh, no. <laughs> no, actually, she kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Kirby's OC, whose name escapes me at the moment. I'm so sorry. But she, she has, like, she has, like, princess vibes somehow. Sorry, not Kirby the video game character. Kirby the member of the community. <laughs> This is where I'm talking about having unique silhouettes. Mihoyo, take notes. I do think, um, yeah, like, uh, uh, you know, actually, there's a video in that. Um, Psygames has some really good character designs that aren't over-designed, but still have interesting silhouettes. Right? In this case, like, Fairy's hair, I think, does a lot of the legwork, along with her potion bottle and ears. Um, but I think what's cool is every character, it looks like, has a unique model. I think... These two have different heights, so they probably use the same base, but um, I'm impressed that they actually modeled, like, it looks like they modeled every character individually, which is a lot of friggin' work. They probably started with a few bases and then, you know, can scale them up and down. I am keep clicking the wrong button. I am so sorry. <laughs> All right, I'm going to quickly finish the ones I haven't done before, if that's okay with y'all, just so I can get those mastery points. Uh, and then we can do the, the harder level stuff, too. I'm armed and girded. I am armed and girded! <laughs> what does that mean? 
<laughs> oh god all right y'all line up height check i think um they're both wearing heels so that's gonna discount things a little bit but fairy is shorter if you discount her ears she is so uh, shorter yeah everyone has their own idol everyone has their own um emotes that's unique Manners. Little victory pose with my little guys. I like, um, there's a race of very small characters that are like Lala Fell. Uh, and one of them, her sitting animation, she just stands on a box. <laughs> this is Percival. I'm so sorry. I confused Lancelot and Percival. Because they both have the, like, um... Yeah, oh my god, can you show off Charlotta's sit about real quick? Because it's, it's very silly. Um, uh, I love it so much. There's a few Ikemen characters. All right, so this is Charlotta. This is the, this is the potato race. They're very cute. Um, and when she sits, she gets on a box. <laughs> when the first time I saw that, that just really tickled me. Like, everyone bow before your, your, uh, almighty matron. <laughs> It's just, oh god. This game has a lot of fun little things like that, you know? Oh, there's also, um, cat people. <laughs> Naruto running. <laughs> They've got all their Cannon Heights in Lyria's journal. Oh, fun. He has a little mustache. Look at him. He has full facial hair. This guy Naruto runs. Yeah, I think at some point it'd be fun to design a Grand Blue OC. Or like a Grand Blue Sona. There is always hope. I would probably make myself one of the little ones. <laughs> Running around at the speed of sound. <laughs> it's Mike, it's like a god added to the pile of abandoned works in progress. You know what I mean? All right, ready when you are, Chill Baker. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some mastery points, and then we can do some of the harder stuff. Cause I just gotta, I gotta up my power level a smidgeroon. Can I use my high level guys? Go for it. I'm looking to grind fast, so like, yeah, knock yourself out. <laughs> I'm cool with it. Aside from Percival, who else uses fire? Um, there's a guy named Rackham, who uses a flintlock uh, gun, and he's a fire unit. Um, Eo is technically... Yeah, that's Rackham. Um, here he is. He's a ship pilot, and I think an engineer. He's cool. Um, uh, uh, Eo the mage is technically a light element character, but she can cast fire element spells. Um, I'll look at the crewmate cards after this, and I'll show y'all all the characters you can currently unlock. My favorite thing about any multiplayer is that even if there's no chat, people will just move in circles or jump to communicate something. Yeah, I genuinely love how gamers have figured out uh, communication uh, in online spaces. I have to get better at dodging, because um, some characters, if you build them right, parrying or dodging will get you iframes. So one of the reasons I want to grind to 100 is so I can start doing more fleshed out builds. Oh, throwing objects. Hold on. Uh, I want to pick that up. Can't rest on our laurels just yet. Yep, eyes on the bride. Got it. That worked. It worked. Cool. That's one way down. Oh. Did we fail at that? Make sure you get them all. On your knees. Oh, I think I failed it. How did I beat that? I'm sorry. I messed that up somehow. Yay! Gamers had to learn nonverbal communication very early on. <laughs> First of all, the only melee fire character. Oh, uh, we can double check that. I don't, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know all of the uh, characters. Thanks for carrying me. <laughs> In my defense, I am trying to contribute, I guess. Um, 
God, also the art in this game is so pretty. I really love Psy Games art team. S plus plus, wow. Percival, Gondagoza, Rackham, and Zeta are all fire characters. Oh, thank you, because I'm going to be honest, I haven't been looking at the crewmate stuff too much because I was just focused so hard on grinding to the end game. Uh, here's our merchant character. Uh, she's really cute. I like her a lot. She has a little parrot. You can now trade Dahlia badges for items. Okay, I'm going to figure that out later. Blah, blah, blah. Knickknack vouchers are used at the Knickknack Shack to obtain your sigils. Okay. So, crewmate card. I clicked the wrong button again. I'm so sorry. All right, so there's Charlotta. This is Gondagoza. I have Fairy. This is Narmaya. Uh, so Percival's a fire unit, and Zeta is a fire unit. Yodara's fun with his little facial hair. I want to maybe get Cagliostro. Not only is she really cute and a uh, trans icon, but apparently her kit's a lot of fun. Seagreed and Percival are the ones I confuse because they're both like long-haired Ikemen. <laughs> Lancelot too a little bit, but I like their designs a lot. They're fun. So these are all the characters you can unlock. Uh, and thankfully, you don't have to pay any money. You just have to earn the uh, item to do it. All right. Thank you for your patience, everyone. Uh, let me do some very quick mastery stuff. I'll just use all the mastery points I have. Wow. The pack that trains together, reigns together. This is amazing. Because this is how I, uh... Nice. Increase my character's power level. Did I get everything up here? Yes. We'll just keep going down the tree. Great. Okay. And at some point I gotta upgrade my gear, but I'll save that for later. Ikemen, uh, uh, is that the right word? Uh, handsome man? What do you think? Can make the arrangements at once. All right, this should be pretty easy. It's in your hands now. Volt, hello, welcome in. Preparations complete. Hooray! And then I have to figure out how to advance the main quest a little bit more. Oh, I just have to keep doing jobs for Roland. Okay. Yeah, it is. It is what it means, right? Sometimes I get my words crossed, so if I'm ever wrong, let me know. <laughs> I wish there was a dance. Is there a dance? I like when they do dance emotes because it's fun to see which um, dances they assign to each character. Yeah, male version of Bishojo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go! Can I join? You can! After this fight! Um... If anyone else wants to join, let me know and I can open up the queue. But for now, I don't think enough people are available at the moment. But yeah, after this fight, we'll get you in. Skip. No, skip. Oh, my Lord. I'm going to get better at skipping cutscenes, I promise. Ow. <laughs> Beat a throw foes with thrown objects. Okie doke. Oh no! Ah oh, man, no one's over here. Where are the enemies? Oh, I want to contribute. Work. Dang it. <laughs> I'm not good. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm going to help. I'm going to help. I'm going to help. I'm going to help. I'm going to do it. I contributed. <laughs> well, bam. Wobble. Hello! Doc, how are ya? <laughs> no! <laughs> I thought I was gonna clear it! Man, I am I am just brain dead today, huh? Let's go! 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 Let's
embarrassing for me. You don't have to tell Mama, me twice. Sniff out any trouble, would you? Beat Wyvern? They spawned yet? Why can't I jump? There we go. There we go. Well, I'm not liking the look of this, but don't let it intimidate you. There you are. I was waiting for you to spawn. Sorry, chat might be blocking it a bit, but there's um. Uh, there's like optional objectives during these quests, so I'm trying to keep an eye on those to make sure we're meeting them. I'll get these little guys on the bottom because I can't really get high enough to fight the uh, big boy. I'll get these guys. Come here! Oh, camera, please. Ugh. One of my only challenges with this game is sometimes when the camera locks on, it, like, doesn't let you manipulate it, and that can get really hard. I should have played a ranged character for this. I didn't know. I'm sorry. Ugh. Get down here! All right, cool. We've hit all of the goals except for exceeding the timer. So that's good. Bam! Any power restrictions? Play whoever you want. I'm just trying to grind to end game, so... Call me a, I don't know, a, a lazy little baby, but I'm fine with it. <laughs> Carry me, I'm a princess, Ulu. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, timer's almost done. Come back here. Aw, oh, beans. One second! Wow! Call her the passenger princess! Listen, uh, it is not safe for me to drive, so I am being responsible in not doing it. I will be your navigator any day of the week. Just please don't make me drive. <laughs> Watch as everyone brings out their max level character that can one-shot. It's happened. It happened uh, last time we played. Uh, uh, someone one-shot the boss in like two hits. <laughs> All right, let's get that uh, room code for you. Oh, thank you, it's pinned. If you uh, type in the room code that's pinned, you can uh, hop on in. One shot and two hits. <laughs> oh, no. I apologize. I will let you know. I'm only level like 60, so I'm still doing very hard quests, right? I'm not even in like the higher rank stuff yet. Um, I'm just trying to uh, build up my um, masteries, basically. Let's show them the fruits of our training. And I'll also work on gear grinding. Bolt here! Yay! Can I help you? All right, um, let's do the quests that get us rolling stuff. Oh, nice. I'm actually not underleveled for this for once. Skarmiglion. Please be careful. Sounds like a pasta. I was gonna comment that like it's impressive. It should be impossible to one shot and two hits. Oh god, I'm. <laughs> I didn't even think about why that was maybe a dumb sentence. Hi, welcome. I'm Clara Dogford, and I'm disabled. <laughs> and sometimes I don't think about how math works. <laughs> Come for the cute dog girl, stay for the brain dead statements. <laughs> I truly didn't even register why that would be a... <laughs> Stupid statement. <laughs> Mike is still peeking? Aw, oh, dang it. I thought I fixed it. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> She's just like me for real. 
I'm gonna have to figure that out. God dang it. If I could pay someone to just come to my bedroom and fix my audio for me, I'm so serious. I would. Oh, this guy's scary. Big evil skeleton man? Oh, beans. Damn! Bruh! <laughs> you folded him in under a minute! I barely had time to appreciate this boss's design. Y'all are nuts. It's Thanks for helping carry me. <laughs> or please, you can't just say if I could pay somebody to come to my bedroom. <laughs> Once again, I am not thinking things through. Specifically to go to my computer and fix my audio. That is the extent. I mean, unless you want to clean it too, I will also accept uh, cleaning services. This guy is scary, and he's also dead. <laughs> yeah, all right. So, yeah, I know that there's a crunchy mic issue because I had it yesterday, and I don't know how to fix it. I'm going to be honest. I don't know what's causing this problem. Um, what I'm getting is Clara likes people in maid outfits. I feel like maid outfits would actually be super... Um, impractical <laughs> right um all right after stream today i thought i fixed it earlier today after stream today i'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board and see what's happening with my audio does it do show stats it does um i just sped through them i'm very sorry i will uh i will hang out on the review screen longer next time so you can get a better idea of how it uh, shows information Oakley dokley. We're gonna keep on grinding, gamers. Oh, beans. I'm like not strong enough for that yet. All right, hold on. Let me do some mastery point stuff. I don't know how far this will get me, but I, I can try, right? This is amazing. Nice. That help my power level at all? Yes. Can I help you? Right. There we go. I think that did help. Would you nice. All right. What is this? Rock golem and flame gyre. Okay. We can we can do this. I believe in the you that believes in the me. Oh, I have a quest I can finish real quick. Hooray! Thank you, sir. I'm ready. Wow. Ooh. That's a cool coloration. It's a rad weapon, too. You don't get different armor, I don't think, for characters, but you can get different weapons, which is fun. Let's go! Let's go! Oh. Actually, I wonder if I can prevent my crunch from just doing this. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try a few mic positioning things and see if that helps. Well, as a big boy. I really do like the boss design in this game. There's some really cool, um, like, creature designs. Hello, sir. Melt his face. Oh, yeah, this guy's toast. Wow. <laughs> At least I got it hidden. <laughs> Only two characters get different armor, the Captain and Siegfried. Why does Siegfried get different armor? Phase two? No, oh, he's just dead. <laughs> you made that look easy. Way! Man, you know what's crazy? I've been watching Leaflet uh, do solo uh, crowd mode fights. That's been nuts. I feel like I barely have a, a handle on this game. Uh, it's been really fun to watch those those streams. I want to skip cutscene. Okay, so here is the summary menu. Uh, first, it gives you the overall rank for a quest. No healing needed, unscathed. Um, I can give everyone a commendation.
And then it tells you all the stuff you got drops wise, which is cool. But I guess, yeah, it doesn't really show you like damage dealt and stuff. I'm suddenly hungry. Go get food. Yum, yum, yum. 16 way, seconds and the golem track jumped track over my biggest hit. That me. sucks. I've had <laughs> I'm genuinely so sorry. <laughs> There's nothing feels worse. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Nothing feels worse than like gearing up for a big hit and then it doesn't land. Zembi, hello. Wow. I'm great. I'm having a real good day today. Having a lot of fun gaming. Oh my. Uh, can I unlock these? Cool. Um, I got some good commission work done earlier. I also grabbed a clip earlier that I really want to edit. I feel so bad. I have not been posting clips recently. Uh, because I just have not had the ding dang time, man. Um, so, uh, I really want to try and carve out some time to handle that. Oh man, I'm also super excited because we're going to watch, uh... The, tw the two towers tomorrow, Lord of the Rings. You're all set. Uh, and I've been really itching to, to continue that, so I'm really excited. I have to double check that it's still on the streaming service, though. You know what I'm so tired of? I'm so tired of being like, oh, this movie I want to watch is on X streaming service. That's great, right? And then I, you know, go about and live my life, and then, like, two weeks later, it's just gone. It's just dusted. I hate it. I hate it so much. Ready to go. Yay! I have a lot of clips ready for you. I do really appreciate all the clips people have taken. Half of the battle is just downloading them all and uh, editing them. Really, that is the whole battle, isn't it? <laughs> Hayden, thank you for the watch streak. Thank you, thank you. I want to quickly, before I forget, I have to make a note to double check that it's still where I thought it was. Hogu Taiyu Itar? Did I mention that this game has uh, uh, mechs in it? Because, uh, surprise, it also has mechs in it, which is really cool. Aw, oh, beans. Thanks for the invincibility shield. That's so nice. I can see why you play this guy. He's like the ultimate tank. Way! VTubers and not having time to edit clips. Name a more iconic duo. A more iconic duo would be VTubers and being muted. <laughs> If you're a clipper of Claude's delicious content, you're the most coolest of bean. No, I'm so serious. I really appreciate it. Um, it, it, it really saves me a huge boatload of time. Um, like, sometimes I try to make sure I'm, like, marking clippable moments, but I still have to, like, grab them and stuff. Thanks. Thanks for keeping me alive. Ignoring boss mechanics. Hey, that's what tanks do best, right? <laughs> We're the top dogs. I'm gonna remember to skip scenes eventually. I, I will I will develop the muscle memory at some point, I promise. <laughs> Yay, I leveled up. No, that's what DPS does best. I yeah, I guess so. There's a setting to auto skip. Where? <gasps> Thank you. I don't care about crewmate cards. I don't want to have that mess with my stuff. Hold on. Uh, game options. Uh. Also, I have full assist mode on, full disclosure. I don't feel bad about it at all. It makes playing a lot easier for me. Uh, quest cutscene auto skip? Oh, thank you. That's gonna save us all a nice chunk of time. I'll do my masteries real lickety split. 
amazing. Got this one. I'm just fully going down the trees. Wow. Hell yeah. Ooh, and this is my element. Let's go. In your hands now. Thank you for telling me about that, Volt. I had no idea. I've said this before, but I also do really like that this game has um, solid accessibility options. Um, I'm sure once I get to the like end game, end game stuff, I'll, I'll probably do like partial assist mode. I don't know. We'll see. The only downside with full assist mode is sometimes I want to take control and it like overrides what I'm trying to do. But I think part of it also depends on the character you're playing. At higher difficulty, assist mode doesn't work. Aw, oh, beans, that sucks. I get why they have it designed that way, but I do really like having assist mode because it saves my hands a lot of pain from having to button mash. Garrosine. Okay, so he's just a different variant of Big Skeleton Man. I don't fear that. I feel like we spend more time getting geared up for these than we do actually fighting. So I hope y'all aren't bored, but I really appreciate your help. Because once I can get to the end game, I can start grinding to level up my other characters better. You made that look easy. So it is Anime Monster Hunter? Yeah, it really is Anime Monster Hunter. I don't think that's a bad way of phrasing it at all. Um, except instead of changing out your individual character's gear, you're just gearing up specific characters. I think I DC'd. Oh, beans! That's all right, we'll get you back in. Of true terror. Huh. Ah, excuse me. Anime monster hunter, so you hunt anime characters? <laughs> oh. All right, well, the good news is the room code hasn't changed, so we'll just hang out until you get back. I want to... Great. That's all I can do for now. Von Hun is pretty anime. Yes. Can I help you? Um... Here it is. It really is, isn't it? What's next? Will I have the level for this? Oh, I do have the level for this. Is that the last journal I need? Right, see you. No, I haven't found the other journals yet. Okay. I wonder if they're random drops or if I've just been looking in the wrong place. Actually, real quick, let me pick up all these little questy quests. Ready for some Hooray! nothing on you. I'm also gonna have to check out the other uh, hub world because I'm sure there's quests there I've been forgetting to check out. <laughs> Let's kick some tail. <laughs> there's a quest hidden up here. Hmm. Oh, you're so cute! God, the NPCs Ready in this game are really it? fun in their designs. Not random? Aw, oh, beans. So I should just be focusing on specific ones? I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter because I still get the mastery points either way. All right. Oh, Trailmaker's back. All right, cool. Let me go get that quest uh, loaded up. How do you guys get titles? Can I make, can I make my own title? Probably not. Let's go. Ready when you are. God's Bane and God's Slayer? Those are objectively really cool names. They're from the trophies? Aw, oh, beans! I have to remember to be checking my trophies. I keep forgetting to do that. Shoot. <laughs> Look at 
at this old man. You got a big beard, sir. It's very luscious. <laughs> but I do really like that this this like this little hub world feels really lived in, you know. Um. Right, like I like that the NPCs titles can be chosen in co-op settings. Oh, cool. I'll worry about it later. I don't know if I need I need a title like right this instant, but I, at least now I know where to look. Thank y'all. <laughs> little Naruto running. I love it so much. Hell yeah. The tree in the middle just reminds me of Legion of Lagaya. What's Lagaya? You can choose the title from the journal too. Ugh. I like how Diablo 4 does titles where you can get two parts and you can freely combine. Oh, like an Animal Crossing. It's a PS1 JRPG. Starting Town has a mystic tree in the middle. Oh. Infernadile. That sounds like a Pokemon. If I've ever heard a Pokemon name, Infernadile really is one, isn't it? We can handle sure. nope. Nice. I hate to be the one to say it, but uh, Vazaraga, dummy thick. I made myself the goat. <laughs> I loved playing with the uh, title system in Animal Crossing. Uh, I think at one point I had a title that was something along the lines of like ill-gotten trash or something. <laughs> <laughs> was it useless go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Splatoon does that too. Yeah, I think the um title combo system is fun. Um, because it's fun to get creative with it. I'm very sorry for the yawns. I'm not bored. I swear. I'm having a great freaking time. I could not sleep last night. I don't know why. I was like, I'm gonna go to bed early. So I'm on an early stream, and I want to be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, and then I just- I just could not sleep. Vazrog's story's nice. He's the- I'm big and scary because I have to, to be- I have to be to protect the comrades I love. Aww. Ooh, I got a journal! We're on the right track. There's more to see in the main story? Oh! Do y'all mind if I keep doing the main story? Because the sooner I finish the main story, the sooner I can do endgame stuff. Is that okay? If you want to keep grinding, we can grind, because I also need to collect uh, mastery points. Nice. You have to go do that? Okay. Oh man, I kind of want to keep playing with everyone, but... Oh my. I will, I will be a good, uh, good little dog girl. Um... The enemies will be level 80? Oh shit! I am severely underleveled for that then. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe we do more grinding first then. <laughs> I think maybe maybe we get some more grinding done. Um This one. Yes. Hold on. The ones that are really good for grinding are the, like, survival ones, right? Would you take this one? Survival missions? Yeah, let's just do a survival mission real quick. Uh, if that's okay. Uh, because I don't want to be super underleveled. Also, the rest of my party is, like, woefully lower than I am. I think they're still rotting in, like, the 40s. <laughs> so I don't know if I'd be able to survive the main quest. Oh. Sorry, I'm... Eh. Breaking some stuff in my back. Oigen, let's go! Oh, Oigen's probably a really fun character for these fights, huh? You just park and snipe, right? Ominous form. Look, oh, mom, 
I'm a man of wormhole. Just anime things. Are there enemies in here? Yeah, there's nothing in here. Is there supposed to be something that happens right now? now uh, oh, I'm having a connection issue. I think there's a connection problem. All right, uh, can I leave? I'm gonna abandon because I'm all, I think I'm having an issue. Uh, I'm very sorry about that. Survive this! Nothing happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry about that, y'all. We'll try again. It'll all work out. All right, do I have to reopen the room? Aw, oh, I have to... All right, we'll just make a new one. Okay. Hello there. This one, yes? Oh, wait, I think... Can I invite recent players? I can. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go! Alright, see you. Hooray! Only if you want to, no pressure. It's okay if you don't want to come back. Excuse uh, me. in the meantime... Should probably level up my gear. That can also help with, uh, mastery level stuff, right? Skyfarers, huh? What kind of weapons you need? Oh, no, I don't know which one to make. Uh... I'll do crit rate up, I guess. Sure. I think eventually the goal is to make them all for a given character, but like... Eh. I'll handle it. How about that? Whoop de doo. Your weapons. I don't know how to check the in-game invites. No worries. I'll get the little code code here. Come to view beep, the beep, 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 beep. New code. Ba -ba -da -ba. I'll uh type it out so you can cut and paste. Save yourself a hassle. Bing bong! You can auto use shards by pressing X. Oh, beans! Thank you for all the uh uh Have a nice day. tips. Oh, that reminds me. Let me go check my trophies real quick. Uh in the journal? Yes. Okay, if I go to co-op profile, I want to... Ooh! Yeah! I'm a little powerhouse. Cool. All right, let me know if that code is working. I typed it in right, right? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, in terms of character mastery stuff, I used all my mastery points. I like the current skill spread I have. It's not giving anything. Oh, beans. I set it up wrong then. All right. I'll make a new one. Sorry about that, y'all. I'll just reuse my settings from last time then. 
private on. Hello there. Okay, new code. Okay. Hope that works. Otherwise, I messed up. <laughs> uh, I think that should work. Because it's private. But if you type in the ID, you can join, right? They don't show up at all? Okay. I will put a password in, though. Um, so people don't give us a hard time. Password is howl again. We're gonna just do that. Okay. So I think that's where I went wrong. Thank you all so much for helping me out. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully that works. Um, yeah, there we go. Gamer time. <laughs> ID ba bypasses password. Interesting. But at least putting the password in will uh, prevent complete randoms from showing up, question mark. So there's that. All right, let me go finish uh, leveling this. It works, yay! Thank you all again for being patient while I got this figured out. Um, Auto level, there we go. Beautiful. Don't forget about upkeep. <laughs> I've got this. It's me, Tian. Hello. Welcome, welcome. That's it. If other people want to play, let me know and I'll open up the queue. Oh dear. It'll be easy peasy. Oh, that's a fun color palette for Rackham. Oh, hold on. I'm sorry. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta choose a quest. <laughs> I'm, 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 uh, being a little dingling. All right, we want to do this, this, and hopefully one? this time it works. And otherwise, it's cursed. Now. If it doesn't work in this run, it's cursed. <laughs> Ready when you are. The pack's never been better. I got the DLC colors. Nice. I'm gonna be honest. I kind of, if they don't, if they release DLC costumes, I might buy them. <laughs> Depending on the character, but I I might I'm kind of tempted. Oh, my spine is crunchy. Everyone. Oh, gotta make sure I'm not shrimping. You have a full party? Yeah, but I have a, a queue system I can set up, and then we can just rotate through. Easy peasy. And then everyone has a chance to play. Okay, hopefully this works this time. Yeah, there we go. Calamitous gate. Look at you. <laughs> Gold just spinning in a circle is really silly. I can see why y'all went for the ranged characters for this fight. I have a silly question. Does the game ever tell you... Um... Like, does it ever recommend what units to bring to a fight, or do you just know from playing? Is it like ever, oh, hey, you should probably play a ranged unit for this, this round. I need your aid! Will you protect 
Knowing the gotcha, they'll release a swimsuit pack. I would probably hop on a swimsuit pack, if I'm being honest with myself. Aw, oh, beans. Where's the party? Yeah, build up my heals and then I can drop some heals for Chillmaker. Whoa, that's all big slime! Oh, he's so cute! Oh, this dimension warp is making me nauseous. They're wide open. You kind of get it by playing. Like, for example, if the arena is as big as this one, ranged is just superior. No, I think for sure ranged makes way more sense here. Is OBS chugging again? No, it's looking good on my end. Um, let me know. I'll keep. I'll keep an eye on it. Aw, oh, Beans, is it crunchy for everyone? It might be a Twitch side issue. This makes me just want that Archer girl even more, though, because I really want her as my ranged unit. Oh, slime! I'm guessing survival fights in general, it's worth having a ranged unit because there's just so many things to hit. Like, that's a PowerPoint presentation. I'm so sorry. Um, If there's only four people who want to queue, do y'all mind if we just keep taking turns swapping a person out so that everyone gets a chance? I don't mind setting up the queue if that makes it easier to organize, though. It's really no skin off my teeth. Accommodations for everyone. Oh, hold up. I got an eyelash in my eye. Blech. Ugh, sorry. I can just sit out. Just for one round. We can just have everyone take a turn. I have stuff to farm. Well, thank you very much for helping. <laughs> I super appreciate yeah. it. Can I help you? Raids even now? Okay, I, I'm tentatively gonna say it was a Twitch side thing because my my OBS has been uh, green and clean. All right, see you. Let me do some mastery stuff. Nice. Oh, and now there's an ad. Okay, good. Nothing Hi. nothing happening while we're doing stuff that's important. You said that's going to be level 80 stuff next? How the heck am I supposed to do I that? I guess I have to grind my other party members. Chillmaker, I think you can hop in. Right. I think we'll have space. And then, uh... Look at my party real quick. Yeah, these are the units I've been meaning to grind. Uh, because poor Rosetta is really the weakest, and I really need her level to go up quite a bit. Hey, Zenith's here. I'll have to double check. It's okay if it's not right now. Um, I clear all these? Alright, cool. I'm gonna just finish the rest of these off then. This is a... Survival? I don't have any ranged units that are trained, so I'll just play fairy for this. 
Preparations complete. Ready whenever. Armed and girded is such a goofy way to say that I'm ready for battle. I love it. Oh, it's it. Great. I'm just stream hopping and hoping. Well, I appreciate it. Rosetta and fairy combo name with party. <laughs> You know, yeah, it works. Look at her, she's so cute. Love it. Uh oh, I'm you're here. surrounded. Hey, try to hold out until reinforcements get here. Oh, hey. No, you're all right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's Run, run, run. I need your aid. Oh, I gotta defeat more enemies with thrown objects here. It's over. That was great. Nice, look at that coordination. Go team. Aw, oh, beans. Oh, that was bad aim on my part. Beans. Oh, hey, we did the thrown objects goal. Nice. It's over. Still faster than having to run and chase everything down, though. Make your Look at the oh, beans. Don't let it escape. <laughs> Nice, we cleared all the goals. Hell yeah. Finally got one of the soldiers I wanted. <gasps> Wait, that's good. I wasn't sure a quest this low would drop what you were looking for, so I'm glad that you got something. Oh, wait, no, you're not in this one. <laughs> I was about to be like, huh, it's cool you can get endgame stuff in like a very hard quest. But that's not how that worked. Blam! Uh, if anyone's wondering, so the reason I haven't been getting any more party members is intentional. Um, in the end game, each character has like a unique weapon you can grind for. Um, but statistically, your grind chance gets more difficult the more party members you have because then the game is drawing from a wider pool of characters. And so then the statistical chance, yeah, the terminus weapons, like the statistical chance of you getting what you want goes down. Uh, Leaflet was telling me about that. So I was like, oh man, I, I, I'm really glad someone told me because I was really tempted to get a bunch of characters. Um, although the other reason I'm waiting on them is because I think the higher level you are, the more leveled the crewmate will be. I think there's a cap on that, though. It might be level 60. What fierce allies! You should. Look at the size of that cool losses. Don't let it escape. Ten seconds. We can do it. Bam! 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 We've defeated a hundred and forty enemies. Pretty good statistic. I'm seven weapons off of having them all. Wow! Once you hit Maniac difficulty, the crewmates you get will have much more progress by default, saving time leveling. Exactly. That's why I'm, like, waiting on them. It's not only the Terminus weapons, but it's also the, like, saving myself time for grinding. I don't mind a grind, but my hands do a little bit, so... <laughs> I'm very glad I learned that tip. Oh, those 
those blades are cool. Ah, excuse me. Let's go. Flitterstone, wow. It'll be easier to max them out later. If you unlock it later anyway, since you'll stack up the amount of... Oh, yeah, you'll just um, also get more mastery points. True, true, true. Uh, let me quickly look up... Um... I'm looking for... Chapter Zero... Grand Blue Level. I think I'm gonna give it a try. I think I wanna do uh, the other quest I haven't done yet here. Yeah, we'll do this conquest real quick. Uh, and then I'm gonna look at the... Uh, I'm gonna look at the... Um, main quest that I have. Wow. I got lucky and got Vayne's weapon early enough because I had all the characters going into that grind. You had all the crewmate cards unlocked? Oh, because my plan is to um, get all the Terminus weapons for the characters I have and then like one by one get each Terminus weapon. Even then, I don't know if I'm going to get all of them. I'll probably get the characters I want first, if that makes sense. We'll handle them. Look at that. All at once. Looks like we've got a second to catch our breath before it takes me up again. Let's go. Oh, it's Kratos. Fight continue. I was wondering what they were. Come on. I got Aid's weapon last night, which is the sword I've been using with him. Got like half my unlocked character's weapons first, but still. Am I going the wrong way? I am going the wrong way. I'm sorry. I promise I'm usually pretty smart. I'm just lost. <laughs> I was reading chat and I got turned around. Sword Veil Fellowship. For a second I thought that said Sword Veil of Friendship and I was like, I don't know if those words in that combination mean what you think they mean. Zero, hello! I found the first enemies with levels in that part, and they're level 75. Thank you! Thank you so much for looking that up, I really appreciate it. Um, so I'm gonna need to get my party members grinded a fair amount before I can continue. I got a new trophy. Oh man, I wasn't doing the thrown objects thing, my bad. I wasn't paying attention to the uh, <laughs> goals of the quest this time. All right, if that's the case, then, yikers, I have a lot of leveling to do. All right, well, we'll start by leveling Eo, because I like her a lot. Uh, 
Um. Oh, I haven't done this one yet. Cool. I'm gonna just. If y'all don't mind, I'm gonna do these little baby ones real fast. They will go so quickly. Um, considering y'all are level 100. Oh, that's a really nice color palette for his armor. That's cool. Gamer, hello. I'm good. We're. Uh, I'm trying to get through chapter zero, but my party members are a little under leveled, so. I'm getting princess carried, <laughs> which I appreciate because uh, I really just want to get to the end game, man. I really, I really just want to do end game stuff because it seems like a lot of fun, uh, but I just haven't had time to play the game. Um, I guess in theory, I could have full auto grind me, but that's not fun. Um, like I can still play with full auto on. Oh, I hit the wall. I think we're good here. Let's move to the next spot. Okay. I'm coming. I'm just a backline unit. Let's roll. I feel that in a similar situation. I was thinking of trying some of these quests without the AI. Yeah, I think, uh... I'll be honest, having a bunch of level 100s carry you does make this process a lot faster. <laughs> Okie dokie. So we're gonna. Uh -oh. Leave it to me. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you can't get me from here, nerd. What are you gonna do? Jump? You can't do that. Oh, we can jump? Well, color me wrong. I'm sorry about that. Why is my targeting not working? There we go. Uh, we should check the next area quick. Uh oh. On. Ooh, get him. Let's roll. Huh? I think I have to jump up for my hits to work. There we go. Get out of here, Mr. Archer. I can survive the fights. Can't say much about my teammates, though. Yeah, my problem is my party members are all now woefully weaker than uh, Fairy, who has been my main for a minute. Um, currently, I think my party setup is going to be uh, Fairy, Catalina, Rosetta, and Eo. I can't decide between Catalina or Jita, if I'm being honest. Main target is level 80 in the next quest. You have to do solo, aside from level 75 enemies. Barnacles, thank you for letting me know. That really helps me get prepared. Um, thankfully, leveling isn't, like, difficult in this game, right? It's just, it's a grind, but I like the grind. Like, I I personally really like the Monster Hunter uh, grind formula, so <laughs> I'm fine with it, you know? Uh, off stream, I'll do all of my uh, fate episodes too, because I know that can also help with character level. I like listening to them while I do commissions. It's fun because I get all the character info. Yeah. Oakley dokley. Onward and upward. There. Here it is. I want to clear all the quests in here. Um, so I hope y'all don't mind if we do these little baby quests for babies. Did I hear you mention Fate? <gasps> Wait, Wiggles, are you doing a stream about the Fate franchise? Did I miss it? I want to make sure I tune into that. Because I don't understand it. I want to switch out to Rosetta. Oh, wait. Oh, I can't cancel. Mobile On mobile bosses, her DPS relies on the Rose Thorns a lot. Yeah, I like Rosetta's kit a lot. Thank you for that idea. That is a good suggestion. I should have <laughs> thought about that more. My problem though is Rosetta's like level 40? Although... Oh, hold on. Why is my connection broken? Ah, oh, beans! Oh no. Or nar. I'm stuck. 
Uh, I can't, I can't leave this menu. I haven't saved recently. Does the game auto save? Uh, oh, no. I think I have to hard quit. It does auto save. That's right. It's a modern game. Uh, I was playing a old game yesterday, so. Um, okay, I have to hard reset the game, I think, because we're stuck in an infinite connection loop. But here's what we'll do. I'm going to restart the game. I'm sorry, Grab Blue. I'm going to have to just do a hard, hard shutdown, which feels bad. Uh, so I'm very sorry for that DC, y'all. Um, but the good news is I will get us back in. And I think switching to Rosetta is a good plan, especially if I'm doing these low-level quests. Um, she's the weakest character of the party I want to have. That's true, yeah. Due to save scumming, some sigils are auto autosave turned off. I think, like, certain drops are predetermined. Um, like, no save scumming will help you. Um, I forget which one. I think Yurio's? The one thing I always struggle with in games like this is when, um, uh, uh, they just have, like, a bunch of words for every- You know what I mean? Like, there's, like, a lot of jargon. Okay. And I just have to remember the jargon. <laughs> okay. That's for curio boxes. It is that is what it's called. Thank you. Which I know are different from sigils. That's that is a different thing. Um Oakley Dokley. So we're gonna put Rosetta in the lead. Actually. Oh, see, I kinda wanna have Rosetta grinded, but I'll save myself the hassle if I just use Jita instead. Should really have a ranged unit to. Oh shit! Hold on, I have to think real quick. I want is Cagliostro a ranged unit? Fairy is so cool. I love Fairy. She's really cute and has a really fun kit. Sorry, I'll figure this out later. Let me at least get the room open for. Her. I do really like Eo as a ranged unit too, so she's also a good option. Uh, create online session. The password is singular howl again. Um, and then if anybody also wants the ID, I will grab that as well. Aggie is semi-ranged. Out of who you have access to, Eugen, Eo, and Rackham are ranged. Got it. Thank you. Stop privating it. But then randoms can come in, right? Isn't that what we don't want? No, God, you're right. I'm sorry. Hold on. No, I did this to myself last time. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> my bad. Thank you. Uh, uh, I, I got my, my wires crossed. Thank you. <laughs> One day I'll remember how this works. I, I don't know if today is that day. Um, and then if you also want the room code. Bing bong, bing bong. We can do power level once you unlock Slimepede. Yeah, uh, the challenge is I need all of my characters to be level uh, uh, b -b -b 80, 75, and I don't really have that right now. All right, Eo is my ranged unit, so I don't have to worry about that. Should I just replace Rosetta with Jita? Uh. For now, for now, I want to use Rosetta, and then I will, um, safe with me. um, in the end game, I'll have a different setup, and that's fine. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just going to aim for the 70 range, and then Fairy can carry everyone else. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll just do that. Do I have any mastery points left? A few. My, my. <laughs> well now, my thorns feel sharper already. Mm. Sorry, let me just uh 
Superb. Mm. At least I can be somewhat productive if I have her leveled a little bit more. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Let me grab a questy quest. Yes. I think I have my team in the mid 60s at very hard mode. Okay, so in chapter zero, there's like a section of the quest where you have to do things, and that's what I'm trying to um, focus on. I can make the arrangements at once. It's in your hands now. Okay. Preparations complete. All preparations are in order. So then, ready to go. Let's go. We'll do our best together. Because the sooner I can get done with chapter zero, the sooner I can do everything else. Do you end chapter zero at level 100? I don't think so. I don't actually know, though. Is that right? Are Terminus oh, weapons the ones with the purple blowy stuff? Take them all on. This has never been safer. Looks like we've got guests. Go give them a big welcome. I will love this tender. Come, Crimson. Double tap. Reel them in. I should be putting my thorns, uh, closer here. What do you think? There are two types of weapons I can glow, Ascension and Terminus. Arr, thank you. You can tell I haven't gotten into the endgame yet, right? <laughs> I've just been so focused on getting the story out of the way. Don't be wrong, I did enjoy the story. It it was the most shonen JRPG to ever JRPG, but I did enjoy it and I had fun with it. What do you think? Don't play too hard now. Full bloom. What? Come, Crimson Thor. It's over. Don't let up. Don't let up. What do you think? The rose is I didn't even know there were weapons that could naturally glow. I don't know how natural it is, but. Crimson Thorn. Nice, I'll just leave my little guy over there to handle those spawns. Barricade survives with at least 75 HP. Where's the barricade? Oh, there it is. Now you're in the deep end. What do you think? They just keep coming, but we'll show them who's boss. No falling under my watch. Defeat AVA Dreadnought? Come, spawn yet. What do you think? Can you satisfy my game? They require you to farm mats to make them glow. Ascension isn't really worth investing mats into. Yeah, so my understanding is that every weapon comes with what do you think? um Passives that can impact a character even if they don't have that weapon equipped. But I don't know if you need to ascend a weapon to get those passives necessarily. I don't know. I don't I don't really know. I actually I do have a question for you all. Before being in the end game end game, right? Is it worth grinding my weapons at all, or should I just focus on masteries until I hit level 100? They just keep coming! Come, Crimson Thorn! Full bloom. What? It's what do you think? <laughs> Come, Crimson Thorn. I will love you, Ten. Come join me. Goodbye. I'll just fight these guys over here. This is working well. Careful. There now. Pick a main, grind out all masteries, upgrade all weapons think? for their masteries as well. <sighs> There's a weapon masteries. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Full bloom. Can't keep up. Come, Crimson Thorn. 
You get the weapon mastery nodes as you level the weapons associated with them. If you're about mid-maxing efficiency, you can get some help with Bahas. I'd say just grind the Terminus weapon, though. And then do all the uncaps. Yeah, I think, like, I don't think Rosetta will be, like, a main of mine in the end game. I just kind of need four party members to get me through the rest of the story. You know? Um, so I think I just won't bother with her weapons. <sighs> weapons are important. It's just hard because I'm trying to spend my mats wisely, you know? Rosetta is a powerful AI. She is a, a very powerful AI. Um, I also like her kid a lot. I like her little rose thing. Um, I think it's fun to have her little rose sentries placed. Well now. <laughs> I got everything up here, right? Or I'll make good use of this. Superb. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I definitely missed some of her stuff. I can't Whoopsie wait doodle. to debut this. My my. There we go. Ba -ba 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 -ba. This one, yes? Am I on this one? Oh, I'm below the power level. Would you take this? I'm just gonna get hard carried. I'm fine with it. <laughs> All preparations are Let's do this. To finish upgrading the terminus weapon for a character, you need to complete the mastery tree, we'll including collection. Oh got it. Okay. I'm fine if I don't upgrade every Terminus weapon. Yeah, so now I see why, yeah, you gotta pick that main. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna just focus on getting characters leveled enough to get me to the end game, and then I'll start, I think, uh, strategizing in that regard. Dang! I couldn't even sneeze on him. That's nuts, I love it, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry if this is not enjoyable for you all, but I do appreciate it. What do we have here? No. Hooray! Clear time gets bonus. I stretch my hands real quick. You're in a good spot. Don't unlock anyone else. Yeah, 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 yeah. That much I have heard. Um, uh, I heard about the statistic drops with Terminus weapons. So the only crewmate I got was Fairy before I knew about that. And then I was like, oh, no. Yeah, no, I'm holding on to the crewmate cards. I think once I'm in the end game, I'd be interested in trying out Cagliostro. Um, and maybe Normaya, if I'm being honest, purely because I think she's cute. Uh <laughs> I think Id's pretty fun too, but I don't know how much I want to build him yet. Well now. <laughs> Superb. What level is id? 44. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to leave him. If I want to grind him later, I will. It's where I like everyone in a game. Relink is nice in that regard. Yeah, right? Like I think what I I find really impressive about Relink is how is. none of the characters seem poorly designed. Right? Like they all this feel um, well-balanced. Um, I could be wrong in that regard, but I guess it's also easier when it's PvE stuff. Metas are just different than if it's PvP. 
I'll be honest, I prefer PvE stuff. We'll do our best. I'd rather play with people than against them. I'm not aggressive enough. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, sorry. Spine is crunchy. No, you're right. Siegfried's the only person who should be doing more damage, but you have to play him a lot to notice. That's kind of wild. Um, at least, I, so I will say, like, on the spectrum of gamers, I lean a little more to the casual side. Like, I don't, god dang, <laughs> holy jeez. Um, I don't tend to get into really crunchy numbers. Like, <laughs> when games have builds, I just go to the internet and I just use builds other people suggest, right? Like, I personally, like, don't care much for theory crafting because the stats kind of get my eyes crossed. Um, but I like this game because, uh, I feel like it's learnable but forgivable, if that makes sense. Like, I can be a little bit of a dummy and still have a fighting chance. <laughs> I don't like parsers and the like. Yeah, I guess, like, I've done PvP stuff, and I don't know, I feel like the metas in PvP, especially in, like, PvP gotcha games, those metas get really brutal. It's why Dragalia, again, my favorite gotcha game. Build crafting? No, I'll fill grid and grid is good to me. <laughs> yeah, I just, I love when people will be like, here's a tier list based on like these reasons. Here's what I think is worth investing in. I'm just like, cool, thanks. Like, <laughs> I'm not saying I think PvP is bad because I know that some people really love it. But for me, I'm not competitive enough. You know, I cleared all of these. I have one, one more. Yes? Good luck out there. You get my mastery's real lickety split. I'm so sorry, I almost forgot. My my. Ara Ara. I just basically one shot a normal difficulty boss. Yeah, listen, I'm, I'm not hating it. It's making my grind faster. <laughs> now, let's be going. PvE gotcha is far superior to PvP gotcha for me. Now, if we're talking certain units to get over hard bosses, then that I'm into. I don't know. I haven't played a ton of gotcha games, to be honest, because I have a hard time getting into them. For a while, I played Destiny Child, and um, it was fun, but the meta was just killer as a largely free-to-play player. So I ended up sticking with it. Currently, I'm liking Love in Deep Space, although ironically, I don't really care for the the romance elements. <laughs> I like it for uh, uh, the mini games and the um, combat loop. If I'm being honest, I'm surprised no one designed a game like it sooner, especially considering how popular Mystic Messenger was. Not shabby. I'll take them all on. Dumbass. Snack time. Fire. <laughs> you don't like it for that doctor that's got you pining? I do like the doctor, man. Um I won't say no to that, but like I'm not dating it I'm not dating it. I'm not playing it specifically to like fake date him. Um I don't know, I've just been looking for a gotcha to fill the Dracolia lost hole, I guess. Whoa, dating? She's lying! Yeah, I'm dating a doctor named Zane. Um, he's... I don't remember his... I think he's 27 in the game? I don't remember. What do you think? Uh... At this point, I've cleared everything. Um, so now it's... So I just have to keep grinding, right? Until I'm... Level 60. You wouldn't know him he goes to a school in Canada. If that's the case, power level's pretty low though. 